Hello, boys and girls. I am so glad that you've joined me again today. Let's start with our good morning song. Are you ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning. I see your happy smile. Good morning, good morning. Let's stay here for a while. Let's clap. We are all at school today. 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 Well, I thought it might be fun to sing a couple of songs that you might already know. Moms and dads, if you're nearby, you can pop your kids onto your lap for this first song. And boys and girls, if mom and dad are busy right now, you can go and get your teddy bear and put him on your lap, just like I'm doing right now. We're gonna sing The Wheels on the Bus. Are you ready? Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The door on the bus goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. All right, for this one, parents, get ready to pick up your kids and go up and down. The big kids on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The big kids on the bus go up and down, all through the town. But the babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. So the driver on the bus says, shh, 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 The driver on the bus goes shh, 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 all through the town. The mommies on the bus say, I love you. I love you, I love you. The daddies on the bus say I love you too, all through the town. <laughs> Yay, thank you for singing that with me. I'm gonna set my bear off to the side and I wanted to ask you, do you have a firefighter hat at your house? If you do, go and get it right now because we're gonna sing a song about driving on a fire truck. I have my hat right here. Do you have yours? If not, that's okay. We can still pretend you're wearing a hat and we can get behind that firefighter truck and get behind the steering wheel so we can begin to drive. Are you ready? Here we go. Hurry, hurry, drive that fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive that fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive that fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. We're gonna turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn that corner. Ah! Hurry, hurry, turn that corner. Ah! Hurry, hurry, turn that corner. Ding, 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 climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb that ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb that ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb that ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Get your hoses ready to squirt the water. Mom and dad, if you're there, make the shh sound. Here we go. Hurry, hurry, squirt that water. Hurry, hurry, squirt that water. Hurry, hurry, squirt that water. Ding, 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 ding. Whew. We did it. We got out the fire. You 
guys are heroes. All right, you can take off your firefighter hat now. Boys and girls, I wanted to tell you what's going on now with our caterpillars. Remember, in our other video, I was showing you how they were teeny tiny and how they were getting bigger and bigger. Well, the next step for them is to crawl up to the top of the jar and then they hang upside down. So the first picture you're looking at shows them hanging upside down from the lid of the jar. In the second picture that you're looking at, you're gonna see that they have now wrapped themselves into a chrysalis. And in the third picture, you'll see that I removed the lid from the jar and I set it up on a little stand to put into my butterfly house. And now that is where they're gonna stay until they become butterflies. Isn't that so exciting? I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Well, boys and girls, I'd like you to follow me into the kitchen now because I thought I would show you a couple of simple art activities that you could do with mom and dad with things that you already have around the house. Come and follow me. Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. So I took out some items that I had at home to show you two simple art activities that you could do with mom and dad. So the first one, come in a little bit closer so you can see. We're going to use an empty egg carton to make a caterpillar. So the first part is mom and dad's job. You're going to take the carton and then you'll decide how big of a caterpillar you want to make and you're going to cut with the scissors down the middle to make it whatever size you'd like. I cut one that was half of it. So it was one, two, three, and that's what I cut. But if you want, you could go all the way down and make a very long caterpillar. It's up to you. And then moms and dads, if you have spikes like this, you're gonna wanna cut these as well so that it can rest evenly on the counter. All right, the next thing you'll do is take the other side, the lid, and you can use that as your working tray. Find some green paint and a paintbrush, and then you'll get to paint your caterpillar until it looks like this. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use a hole punch, and I'm gonna poke two holes into my egg carton. And if you happen to have a pipe cleaner, you're gonna slide that into the two holes. All right, I'm gonna spin it one time to make it nice and tight. And then, there we go. Now we have the little antenna for the caterpillar. But what if you don't have a pipe cleaner? I was looking around my house and I happened to find some plastic bag wrappers from the grocery store. So I'm gonna grab two of them, and mom and dad, you can do this for your kids. Just twist them together so that we can make it a little bit longer. And I'm gonna demonstrate by putting it through the back side. We wouldn't put it on both sides of the caterpillar, but I'm just showing you how you can use this as well. We'll spin it in the middle to keep it tight, and then here we go. Look at that. That works too. So that's what you can do to make your caterpillar. Well, boys and girls, the next thing that I want to show you is how we can make a butterfly. Because remember, we're learning about the life cycle of the butterfly. So it starts as a caterpillar and then it becomes a butterfly. So what can I use that I would have around my house? Let me show you. I bet mom and dad have coffee filters in their house. So you're gonna take a coffee filter and then you're gonna put it on the back of a plate. And then I'm gonna use some food coloring. What color is this? Did you say yellow? If you did, you're right. I'm gonna drip some yellow onto my coffee filter. Maybe you can do like five or six drops. Then the next one, what color is this? 
Did you say blue? You're right. I'm going to drip drop some blue on there. I'm gonna take my next color. What color is this? Did you say red? You're right. I'm gonna put some red. And then my last color, what color is this? Did you say green? You're right. That's gonna be my last color that I'm gonna put on. Here we go. All right, now you're gonna to need to let that dry for a little while before you touch it. When it's completely dry, I'm gonna show you one that I made earlier that's now dry. So this is one I made earlier. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to try to make butterfly wings. So here, mom and dad can help you with that. And what I got was a little clip like this. Now, if you have a clothespin, that would be even easier, but I didn't have one. So I'm using this kind of a clip. I take my butterfly and I crunch it up in the middle. Do you see that? And now I'm gonna take my clip and I'm gonna stick it in the middle and close it up so it doesn't get away. And look at that, I've made a butterfly. Now if you'd like, you could even get a piece of string and you can slide it through and then maybe you can hang them from different places around your house so you could make more than one. It looks really pretty in windows too. You could maybe hang it by a window. Well, boys and girls, I think those are two fun art activities that you would be able to do with mom and dad that talk about the life cycle of our butterfly, making your caterpillar and making your butterfly. I hope you enjoy doing them. Follow me back now into the next room so that we can say goodbye to our friends. Well, that was fun, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed making your caterpillar and your butterfly. You could create a whole butterfly habitat if you wanted to in a section of your house or in your backyard, making more of these than just one. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. So I brought a new friend. I brought Lammy to come and say goodbye with us. Are you ready to sing to the boys and girls? Oh, okay, let's do it then. Boys and girls, are you ready? Let's sing our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. So just smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Are you ready to give a kiss now to the boys and girls? Oh, all right, we're gonna do it together and maybe you can blow us a kiss too. Everybody ready? Here we go. Mwah. Goodbye, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.